So I've decided to try my own look with the trend I've been seeing lately. People keep making these videos at a certain length, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to describe every Saiyan transformation in less time than it took for Frieza to destroy Namek. That's five minutes starting now. The Great Ape Form, a staple in the franchise, been around forever. Any Saiyan with a tail can look up at the full moon and transform into an ape and their power is multiplied tenfold. In the first couple times we see it from Goku and Gohan, it seems to make one lose control, but after Vegeta's use of the form, we learn that becoming a Great Ape doesn't have to equal losing yourself. It's become a thing of the past now, but cool to reminisce about. Super Saiyan, the legend. It was first achieved by Goku on screen and was the go-to form through the end of Dragon Ball Z. Nearly every notable scene in the franchise has reached this level and from a broader standpoint, this form is one of the major factors for Dragon Ball's worldwide popularity. Grade 2 It's a buffed up Super Saiyan that manages to retain an adequate level of speed for combat. It was the first time the series ever experimented with someone going past Super Saiyan. This has sort of become Vegeta's form even though he doesn't use it anymore. Grade 3 One of the dumbest forms ever. You get a huge boost in power for an extreme sacrifice in speed. What's the point of being strong if you can't catch your opponent? Dumb, dumb. So that's why Master Super Saiyan was created. Goku figured that by staying in the Super Saiyan form as if it were his base, that when he was actually ready to fight, he would power up and be at a completely different level than any Super Saiyan before, and he was right. Now, we have THE Gohan form. Super Saiyan 2 is the first real form that's a different level from the OG Super Saiyan. The hair change, there's no bulky muscles, but the biggest difference is the lightning. Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks have reached this level, but they don't use it as much anymore. OG Super Saiyan seems like a form that everyone has mastered and is comfortable with using, but they have achieved something past Super Saiyan 2 and just don't use the form anymore. The most useless form in Dragon Ball Z. It was useless almost as soon as it was introduced. I mean, you can't use the form effectively while alive. What sense does that make? It was introduced in the Boo Saga and was useless right after that in Battle of Gods. Super Saiyan 4, the coolest part of a bad show. I think this form looks the best out of all Saiyan transformations and it has to get extra credit for elevating the series that is Dragon Ball GT. I also want to point out that it does make users look slightly different. Fur and eye color differ in the cases of Goku, Vegeta, and Gogeta, who are the Super Saiyan 4 as most people acknowledge. Super Saiyan God is, in my opinion, the best form in the franchise. I love the red hair, the sleek and simple design, but it also did a beautiful job of ushering in the modern era of Dragon Ball. This form created a power jump that was well deserved and made sense. Super Saiyan Blue is just a Super Saiyan God becoming a Super Saiyan. Bad form. It was introduced way too early in the story and has now lost much of its impact. I think it was a lazy way to sell toys, honestly. It's the same hairship of a normal Super Saiyan, but blue. And I don't even think there was a good reason for the hair color to be blue. It could have stayed red. Every Super Saiyan form had yellow hair, and I would have liked it if every God form had red hair. Let's move on to something even worse. Super Saiyan Rage. This form doesn't make sense, especially because Super Saiyan is already achieved when a Saiyan is enraged. It was just another convenient way Lady. to make Trunks relevant because bringing him back in the story and not having him be a headliner was nonsense. But the even bigger nonsense is creating a form that doesn't make sense to power him up quickly. Super Saiyan Rose is simple. It's Zamasu Super Saiyan Blue. Now the legendary Super Saiyan form is a rare one. I know it's called Berserk now, but we all know what it is. It's a form exclusive to Saiyan mutants like Broly and Kale. When they become a Super Saiyan, their power is constantly growing and it becomes increasingly difficult to control themselves, but when they do, they become a controlled legendary Super Saiyan. We saw her from Kale first in the Tournament of Power and recently from Broly in the manga. I don't know for certain if this form is stronger than an uncontrolled legendary Super Saiyan, but this form definitely allows them to fight better. Now the legendary Super Saiyan 2 is a form achieved by Kefla. It isn't something she worked for, but rather the natural combination of Kale being a legendary Super Saiyan and Khalifa being a Super Saiyan 2. Ultra Instinct. And guess what? It's a form for Goku. I don't care what you say. Ultra Instinct itself is a technique, and when Whis and Beerus use it, nothing about them changes. But when Goku uses the technique, his eye color, hair, and aura are all drastically different. It's one of the best form ideas. It doesn't rely solely on power, but technique. And then True Ultra Instinct is the same idea. Goku using Ultra Instinct while also including his emotions is his own unique form. Whis explicitly states that one is not supposed to involve their emotions while using Ultra Instinct, but he does anyway and somehow it still works. Ultra Ego is Vegeta's take on using Hakai energy while also taking advantage of a Saiyan's love for combat. I like this form too. And then there's Gohan Beast. I don't know what this form is, I don't like it right now, but I know it made Gohan a lot stronger. Hopefully in the future we get more explanation on what this form is supposed to be, but right now that's where it stands. I think that's everything. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite saying form is, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. This is Big Tune, and thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.